we just had a massive new open source breakthrough. The Moonshot AI team introduced Kimi K2 Thinking, a full-on thinking agent mode built into the new Kimi K2 model. And honestly, it might be the most impressive open model release in years. We're talking about a 1 trillion parameter model that's designed specifically as an agent that reasons step by step, uses tools, and holds coherent thought throughout the whole span of actions. And here's the wild part. The Kimi K2 thinking model is performing on par with proprietary monsters like Claude 4.5 as well as OpenAI's GPT-5 on the high mark. Now, some of these are on the hardest benchmarks too, so it's just incredible to see that an open source model is standing up against these giants at dirt cheap prices. Now, the model absolutely crushes on agentic tasks, on HLE browser comp, as well as a ton of other reasoning benchmarks. It's hitting state-of-the-art scores and it can run 200 and 300 sequential tool calls without any sort of human touching it. Now, this means that there is a full long horizon planning, continuous adaptation, and deep reasoning across hundreds of steps. And it basically is a full autonomous problem solver in open source packages. Now, in terms of the coding benchmarks, what's wild is that on the Sway Multilingual, it nearly tied with GPT-5 high and only a few points behind on the Sway Verify test. On Live Code Bench, it beats Cloud 4.5 Sonnet and only trails a few marks behind GPT-5 high. An open source model doing this is actually just unbelievable. Then there's the Humanities Last Exam benchmark, where K2 thinking dropped a 44.9 percentage which is a state of the art for open models. This isn't just a good enough model. It is genuinely demonstrating advanced reasoning, structured thinking, and high level analytics in comparison to many of these other models. Just take a look at this example where the K2 model was able to solve a PhD level mathematics problem through 23 interleaved reasoning and tool calls. And essentially, it was able to do this in a single shot with no chain of thought fluff and actual multi-step structured reasoning with planning, testing, adapting, replanning, iterating, and you can see that it's built to think. It is using Python, all of these other tools to get you the correct answer. And this is something that it did in a single shot, which is just incredible. The Moonshot team has also stated that they have delivered improvements to HTML, React, and component-intensive front-end tasks, whether that's translating ideas into fully functional, responsive products. And in terms of its agentic coding, you can just tell from the quality of output from these different examples that are shared by Moonshot. This is a word clone that was basically built. There is a lot of different examples showcasing its capabilities as to how it was able to build these certain components in a single shop. If you're looking to get started with the new Kimi K2 thinking model, you can easily do so by heading over to their chatbot, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Just make sure you enable thinking mode and you can access it directly within their chatbot. The open weights are also available. So if you want to access it via a quant size version so that you can host it locally, you can definitely do so through Olama as well as through LM Studio. The model has a 262k context window and in terms of pricing, it's listed at 60 cents per 1 million input tokens and $2.50 per 1 million output tokens. And say if you're looking to access this model completely for free via API, you can do so with Kilo Code as they offer $25 worth of free credits so that you can access it through their AI agent, which I highly recommend that you do because it is probably one of the best agents that is available and you also have it so that you can access it through open router if needed. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Just take a look at Kimi K2 in action. This is where it was spun up to basically push its limits and it is something that was able to chain up a 300 tool call in one continuous session without breaking the thread and in this case it was able to generate a full-on novel off of a single prompt it basically thinks through the entire structure plans it all out drafts the whole novel and revisits and stitches everything together here is the example of it where it generated that entire book with 15 short sci-fi stories all in one run. Now, I don't know if it's perfectly stitched together. I haven't read the whole novel, but it's just 
is incredible to see that it was able to iterate and build a novel this lengthy, all fully coherent, internally consistent, and structured from start to finish. So next up is where I'm going to be testing it on this long reasoning prompt. And this is where I'm tasking it to plan a 15-month research roadmap for a hypothetical AI lab with a budget, staff, constraints, and unknowns. And the goal is to generate and evaluate multiple strategies, model trade-offs using different tools, because we're trying to test it and we see how many tools it can use to strategically plan out this 12-month research plan. And we wanted to run scenario analysis and coverage on an optimal plan, think deeply, reevaluate, and adjust. And I made sure that the thinking mode is enabled. You can see that it is really fast with this. It's already starting on doing this, and it's going to take a bit longer to fully compose out this plan. I kid you not, it has been running for two minutes. And you can see from just the actual sidebar as to how small it got in. And you can see how much it actually deeply researched on composing this 12-month roadmap for the AI lab. Made sure that it is focusing on all the scenarios that we had requested it to focus on. And you can see that it takes multiple steps with multi-agent workflows to tackle everything from making sure that it focuses on allocating budget, staff, and comparing different scenarios and strategies. And remember how I said you can use this with Kilo Code? You can easily set this up by heading over to the extension store within your ID, like VS Code, and then you can install this extension completely for free and then access it with the free credits. On the left-hand panel is where you can access the Kilo Code extension, and you can then set your API key. In this case, we already have a free API key. And then we can select the Kimi K2 thinking model and you can see that it is already listed and we can start chatting with it right away. Here we are requesting it to test out its creative extensiveness by having it generate a browser-based OS and you can see that it is already thinking and making sure that it wants to create a strategic approach as to how it will tackle this task of creating a browser-based OS. It is going to use its agentic capabilities and it's going to work on creating this do list which you see is pretty extensive in comparison to other models and how it's going to create that browser-based OS for us. And there we go, quite rapidly with the Kilo Code agent powered by the new Kimi K2 thinking model, it was able to generate this macOS style operating system, which looks pretty good. You have all the different apps, you have all the functionalities of dragging it around. You can open it up. The only thing is there's no icons to it, which is the only downside, but it does look like a macOS styled operating system. You can open up the Finder, which looks absolutely great. This looks and mimics exactly the Finder that you would see on macOS. There's also a Safari, which doesn't look too great, and it's not exactly functional like any of the other operating systems that have been generated by AI. There's a mail system, which looks like the one that we see on macOS. Photos, you also have music, a calculator, you also have notes, and then you also have the settings. So overall, it did a pretty decent job. I wouldn't say it's the best. The best I've seen is from the Gemini 3.0 checkpoint, but this is still relatively good. And it spent only 59 cents, which is pretty decent. And you can see that Kilo Code did a great job mitigating the usage of tokens, and it was able to do quite well with this generation. Now, this is pretty impressive. It took approximately 33 cents to generate a full-on Minecraft clone. And this is something that actually works. Now, this does not look like Minecraft because it didn't generate the full on terrain. But I have the functionality of placing down blocks, different sorts of blocks. You can see that there's various sorts of types that I can place down. You also have it so that I can actually break different sorts of blocks. There's actually an animation that it shows after breaking it, which is pretty cool. But something cool that I can see is that if you go over to controls, there is a full on game controls tab that it generated. This isn't something that's revolutionary or anything but the fact that it's capable of doing this in 33 cents is crazy here i had requested it to create a butterfly in svg code and we're essentially seeing how proficient it is in svg and you can see that it does look like a symmetrical butterfly which is great to see where most models actually tend to fail at this so it's great to see that this open source model is capable of generating a competent looking butterfly now, I don't know about you, but in terms of the front end capabilities, it doesn't look the best, but it is a lot better than any other open source model. I had requested the Kimi K2 model, the thinking model, to generate the SAS landing page. I'm still refining it to make it look better, but it was able to at least add animations and it looks pretty decent, I guess, but it looks really tacky in my opinion. It's not the best, but overall, I guess it did a decent job. 
something that I wouldn't use for front-end development at all. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on the new Kimi K2 thinking model. Let me know what you guys think about this. I think this is a great advancement and in terms of using an open source model for a reasoning test, this is your go-to option over many of the other models we've showcased on this channel. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Make sure you join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the main channel. Make sure you go ahead and turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.